Hey guys, what is going on? I just Rengar here, and today I'm coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Rift Herald, and we're going to be talking about a couple different things. So, we're going to be talking about how long it takes to kill a Rift Herald, we're going to be talking about what you can do with Rift Herald, and we're going to be talking about tips and tricks for killing Rift Herald. So, to start off, we're basically just playing uh, Rengar in this. You can pretty much solo Rift Herald with almost any champion, though. So, I'm going to give you my tips and tricks uh, to solo the Rift Herald. So, first thing to know, when you hit the Rift Herald, it's going to charge in the direction that you hit it in. So, if you hit it from this angle right here, it's going to go up against the wall, and it's going to make it a little bit harder to get behind it. If you hit it right here, it's going to do the same thing, and pretty much any direction. So, what I like to do is always hit it just from the front, okay? So, first note, hit it from the front. Second note, run behind. See how it charges? That charge right there deals damage. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not getting hit by that charge. And it's the same thing for its hit. So right here I hit that and notice how I just run behind it. You want to weave through the Rift Herald as much as possible. And notice that's a little bit to the side so I didn't do that exactly correct. But I can still run around and still take it really, really easily. So basically all I'm doing again is just running around and trying to hit it from behind as much as possible and keep in mind I'm, I've not even used a single smite so far and I'm taking it fairly fast so right here boom I got it and I didn't even use smite the only thing that I have is a Tiamat a longsword and the hunter's machete I was able to kill it only losing about two-thirds of my health bar and I didn't actually check exactly how much time so Astari please put exactly how much time uh, we used right there um, and then we can uh, use that as an example. So, a couple things that you can do with Rif Rift Herald once you have it. Keep in mind, that was the 10 minute solo. Um, you can come up here, you can place it to take this turret for a first turret. Uh, you can come over here, also use it to take the first turret mid lane. Um, the only issue with doing it mid lane, right, is that if you do end up putting it mid lane, the enemy jungler, if they're on the bot side of the map, can respond really quickly. If they're on the top side of the map, can respond really quickly. Whereas, if you're using it on the top side of the map, if the enemy jungler is on the bot side of the map, he can't respond very quickly so it's more likely to succeed if you use it top lane or bot lane especially if you know where the enemy jungler is at the time but using it mid lane will always be more effective because losing the mid lane turret opens up the map once the mid lane turret's gone you have pretty much access to here through here down through here um, and then through here all the way over through here and it's not really like that hard to contest or it's not uh, very easy for the enemy team to contest and then from there, you can also just spawn the Rift Herald a little bit later. But we're going to go into uh, other things you can use Rift Herald for in the next clip. So let me show you guys the 15 minute solo. Alrighty guys, so at this point we're at the 15 minute mark for the Rift Herald. And we're going to show you guys soloing it again. It's going to be a little bit easier this time as well. I did add a little bit of gold by the way, but I'm still using basically what you would have um, if you're doing fairly well at around 15 minutes. So what you're going to do is again, Q. Auto attack Q and then walk behind, see how I don't take damage there. And then just keep fighting it right here. And you don't want to take damage because if you do end up taking damage, and here let me just run behind, auto attack and then instantly run behind. Oh, missed it that time. That's all good. We hit it the next one. Um, and then keep running behind its auto attack. So again, guys, this is super, super easy. And it's, it's really not super hard to kill a Rift Herald. Just keep running right behind it whenever it tries to go for you. And you barely lose any health. Keep in mind, I haven't even used a single potion. Um, and if I smite it here, I'd be full HP when it dies. But I'm not even going to use smite. It's that easy. So at this point, 800 HP. I've only lost 400 from soloing the Rift Herald. Uh, that's also due to efficient use of my, uh, my Ws. Using it only for its regular attacks and juking out the other attacks. So keep in mind that you can do that. And that that works really well. So, now at 15 minutes, what can you do with a Rift Herald? At 15 minutes, we're going to assume that at least two of these three towers are gone. So there's a couple different things you can do. If this mid lane turret right here is gone, you can say, okay, let's group mid. And you can place it down mid lane, which would be good to uh, kind of... Um, I guess you could say, like, it would be good if you wanted to siege that and then take that down. Or... There's a couple other things that you can do with it. You can also just use it to secure the last tier 1, but normally you'll be able to get that pretty easily, so I don't recommend that. Or if there's, let's say, like a lane that dominated really hard, and let's say these two are gone, you can use it, uh, let's say, top lane, and then try to go for the inhibitor turret. That way you crack into their inner base, which is going to be the hardest to do later on. So those are the things you should really be looking to do uh, with Rift Herald at around 15 minutes if you solo it then, at that point. And again, keep in mind, soloing Rift Herald is not hard. You just have to keep in mind where the 
enemy team is and if you have enough time to do it. So I'll have a story again, put the amount of time that it took to do that from start to finish and show you guys that. And I'll show you the final clear and what you should do with a 19 minute Rift Herald. Alrighty guys, it is time for the 19 minute solo of the Rift Herald. So that's what we're gonna get into right now. So we're gonna start it at 1910 exactly. And again, keep in mind, we're employing the same tactics that we used the last time of walking behind it. And keep in mind when I'm using my W's here is when it b just basic attacks me because I'm going to juke out all the other attacks. And guys, this is so easy to do that you should be getting Rift Herald every single game if you even have a slight chance to do it because it's so free. And a Rift Herald basically guarantees you a tower. So if you can get it before first tower goes down, that's good. Or especially if you can get it at this point, it's really good. Um, and the reason for getting it at this point being really good is because of what you can use it for. So at this point in the game, there's a bunch of different things you can do. So the Rift Herald is going to stay with you, right? And it's going to stay for 240 seconds. So a couple things that you can do to prolong that, you can place it um, right here in between these two golems, or you can be like this, and then that'll lock it in place. Uh, that's just one thing that you can do. Or, what I like to do is a couple of different things. You can either, if you're pushed up far enough, crack the base with it. So if you're right here, these towers are gone. You can crack this base using the Rift Herald, having your entire team group as five, and then taking it. But there's a couple other things that you might not think about doing. And one of them is basically just to either use it to take the dragon or use it to take the baron. And the way that you do that is by putting it down, let's say, bot lane, and then having your entire team be up here but hidden because your support would have went through the control ward. Or you go through with, uh, let's say, if you get three control wards in your inventory. So one, two, three. Um, wait. <laughs> I need to go back to the uh, the spawn for that. So let's say you have three control wards in your inventory. You come over here. Uh, you walk around with Duskblade. You clear your first ward right here with Duskblade. You come in here. You see that there's a ward in here, so you place a control ward. You clear it. Uh, you walk over here. You see there's a ward in there, so you use this to clear it. Or you place another control ward to clear it. And basically what you're doing is you're making sure that this area is clear. Um... Mostly just here, here, and here, making sure that those areas are clear, and check over here and here as well um, at higher elos because they may be warding over in those spots, and in lower elos sometimes as well. Um, some people might have seen that in a pro game, and then they start to ward right there. And then what you do is you basically place the Rift Herald at bottom, and after you place the Rift Herald at bottom, it's going to start running towards this turret or this turret, and a Rift Herald is going to require someone's attention to go and stop it, otherwise they're going to lose the turret. So what's going to happen is this Rift Herald is going to keep pushing down this lane, and eventually they're going to divert someone to go for that. And if your team is strong enough, having five, all five people up here, and they divert somebody that's fairly strong on their team to go and deal with that, that means that you should be able to take the Baron 5 versus 4, or if you're able to catch a sleek team fight, you might be able to take one of them out and then go for the Baron afterwards when it's 5v3 before the enemy down bot lane can get back. So, keep in mind the Rift Herald is not supported with any minions whatsoever. If he was, he'd be doing quite a bit more. And if they don't do anything, either way, you still get a free turret for the Rift Herald, which is basically what the Rift Herald is worth anyways. So there's no real huge loss from it. Um, it's mostly just a net gain for yourself and for your team because you get that team gold, you get the map pressure, um, and you get the objective control from having that. And again, you can also do the exact same thing. Um, except for the Infernal Dragon, or whatever dragon it is, you can place it top lane and then group down here for the dragon, and that's a lot easier to start 5v4, because you know if they engage on you, the dragon's not going to do too, too much damage, at least not as much as a Baron. So, anyways guys, I hope you were able to learn a lot from this video, I hope you kind of saw when you can do the Rift Herald, how much damage it actually deals, um... And I hope you're able to learn from the tips and tricks on how to use the Rift Herald and how to actually kill the Rift Herald itself. So again, thank you all so much for watching. And if you want to see some more Rengar videos and some more videos on how to basically just do general things like clearing dragons and stuff like that, hit me with a like, subscribe, all that jazz. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful day.